In this video, let's see how to combine multiple reducers. Or to be more specific to our example, how to combine the cake reducer and the ice cream reducer. Let me tell you that it is really simple. Redux provides a method called combine reducers to combine multiple reducers into a single reducer, which can then be passed to the create store method. So at the top, let's first get hold of the method from Redux. Const combine reducers is equal to Redux dot combine reducers. Next, before we create our store, we combine our reducers. The convention is to call the combination of all your reducers as the root reducer. So const root reducer is equal to the method combine reducers. This method accepts an object. Each key value pair for this object corresponds to a reducer. For the cake reducer, I will specify the key as cake and the value is going to be cake reducer. For the ice cream reducer, I will specify the key as ice cream and the value is going to be ice cream reducer. Finally, create store will now accept the root reducer as its argument. And that is pretty much it. If I now save the file and run the command node index, we should get the output. But what is now different is the overall global state object. If we now wish to access the number of cakes, we have to specify state.cake.number of cakes. And if we wish to access the number of ice creams, we specify state.icecream.number of ice creams. The cake and ice cream here correspond to the key we have specified while combining the reducers. You can specify the key as anything you wish to, but what you see here is sort of the convention. Also, what you must know is that when we dispatch an action, both the reducers receive that action. The difference is that one of them acts on that action, whereas the other just ignores it. Now by doing what we have just done, each of the reducers is managing its own part of the application global state. The state parameter is different for every reducer and corresponds to the part of the state it manages. When your app grows in size, you can split the reducers into separate files and keep them completely independent and managing different features. You can have an auth reducer, a user reducer, a profile reducer, etc., depending on your application needs. So that is about multiple reducers and the combine reducers function from Redux. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.